This is the second game for the Philippines in the 2023 Pinatar Cup in Spain. Their opponent Scotland is the 25th ranked in the world. Zuzana Valentova blows her whistle and here we go. An early threat for the Filipinas as Serena Bolden put pressure on Scotland's backline. The pressure here from Serena Bolden. Serena Bolden pulled back. Scotland was also able to put pressure against the backline of the Philippines, but Alicia Barker was there to recover. Oh, nervy moments here as Haley Long mistimed that. Barker there to clean it up though and Olivia McDaniel. In the ninth minute, another danger was created by Scotland but they weren't able to connect the pass inside the box. Harrison has some defending to do here. As Smith has successfully run into that, low ball played in. In the 18th minute, the Filipinas was able to create an opportunity in the middle, but Bolden wasn't able to connect the pass from Giyu. Katrina Giyu playing it forward, trying to find the run, Serena Bolden. The Filipinas created another great chance in the 34th minute inside the box, but Giyu wasn't able to have a clear connection with the ball. Serena Bolden back to Anis, playing it forward to Katrina Gilyu! And Gilyu unable to lift the ball high enough. Scotland had a run on the right side in the 38th minute, but Alicia Barker was there again to defend the box. And this may be the first test for Olivia McDaniel coming right up, but Alicia Barker doing a good job shepherding. A minute later, the Filipinas also had their chance, but the referee called offside. Now Savitsky playing the long ball, looking for Katrina Gilyu, and the flag eventually goes up. In the 39th minute, from the right side of the pitch, Scotland was able to convert a goal from Lauren Davidson. Davidson, the ball forward and that will fall in. The opener for Scotland from distance. The low shot getting past Olivia McDaniel. Davidson driving it in here the left-footed shot took a bounce right in front of olivia mcdaniel after four minutes scotland had another opportunity but olivia mcdaniel was able to save it this time trying to get the better of harrison here the ball again to olivia mcdaniel but this time able to save it in the 43rd minute the filipinas had a great opportunity to score but anis wasn't able to control the pass from giyu here's an open run dianis Unable to control it, drags it out wide. Scotland had a chance in the 53rd minute, but it was a near miss from Christy Grimshaw. Chance here from Scotland once more. They do have the numbers. Can they find the right pass? They do, but the shot just wide left. Two minutes later, Scotland's low-driven shot from a set piece was easily saved by McDaniel. Headed away by Barker, and the ball finds its way to Olivia McDaniel. In the 57th minute, Scotland's Rachel Corsi scored their second goal from a corner. Jay Clark standing over everyone, the obvious target, and that is a goal for Scotland once more, asking for a handball, they won't get it, talking about the Philippines. Take a look at this again, so there was a shot for a handball, and it bounced off the chest. Scotland had another chance in the 77th minute, but they weren't able to connect the pass inside the box. But Scotland are trying to make, Hansen could not make the connection. In the 80th minute, Sarah Egesvik missed Bella Flanagan for a better chance on goal. Egesvik going all the way by herself. Filipinas had another chance through a set piece, but Haley Long was covered by three Scottish players. Good ball in, and Haley Long was a target, and Haley Long hits the deck. Late in the second half, Bella Flanagan earned a free kick, wherein Meryl Serrano was able to convert a goal. Flanagan with an opportunity here and eventually run over. That will be a free kick in a dangerous area. Serrano. Serrano scores for the Philippines. And can late drama happen here at the Pinatar Cup? And that'll do it as Scotland take down the Philippines two goals to one. It's two losses already in the two games that they have played. But things to build for here for the Philippines. After getting their opening goal of the tournament, they're going to be looking for more.